guys steam here and today I'm bringing you a modeling tutorial on how to make a simple looking plane just from the use of primitive objects which are these objects here just from using these not any cutting um, or any uh, different like selection tools to use it's just pretty simple modeling and it creates quite a nice looking plane um, which you can animate really easily um, this isn't a very advanced tutorial but it would be uh, good if you're just beginning to start modeling stuff so that's the plane there and uh, the download link for the plane without any materials without any lighting or anything will be in the description uh, as a project file which you can just download and you can play around with it if you're lazy um, but if you want to learn how to do this then stick around and we're going to be uh, starting yes let's let's get to this okay right so wait well, um, first off, what you want to do is zoom out a little bit and then just add a cone. And then instead of rotating it all, you just want to change orientation to plus Z. Now, once you've done that, you want to change the height to around, make it quite long. Um, maybe that's a bit too long. That should do. Um, center it a little bit. I'm not going to wonder about any of like, the render settings yet because this is just going to be a modeling tutorial, not a lighting or a material tutorial. But uh, let me know if you want any of them. So, uh, yeah, um, you want to add some caps as well so it's not just like a well sharp because see around that looks it's really sharp edges. Just add a top cap, add a bottom cap so straight away you've got these rounded edges. Um, but the end is still really sharp so what you want to do is you want to go to um, top radius. And then increase it to around about 14, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Right. Um, next thing you want to do is add the wings, which is using a cube. Uh, it's a good idea to label these as you go along as well. So cone would be the body of the plane. Cube would be. Well, let's do left wing first. Now right wing first then we don't have to move the camera around um, so yes just want to shrink this down a little bit and if you haven't got these little yellow boxes just click this button here with the triangle and the arrows um, shrink that down maybe to maybe that's a bit that's maybe that's just right and then just bring it out a little bit um, go into the four-way view make sure it's in the plane you want to bring it forward a little bit cause you don't want it like at the back so you just have to think about like a proper power proper plane will work and just kind of line it up with this long long line in the middle so you could do the same for the next one so copy and paste that slide that along make sure it's the same size as that so you don't want two of the two wings the same and then just change that to left wing right so now you've got a plane or a body and some wings you want to make those wings look a bit nicer by highlighting both of them and adding a fillet or fillet or whatever that says um, and that just makes the edges a lot smoother so they're a lot nicer to look at compared to without as you can tell um, you can just play around with that if you want but uh, next you want to do is add like the place where the pilot's gonna sit so move that up a little bit yeah um, and then you want to go into the right hand side view and this four way view is a uh, is very helpful um if you're when you're modeling um objects and stuff but this isn't too much of a hard object to model as i said because it's just all using this term shapes and you don't have to use any like tools and stuff so like a ball tool or anything so it's um for any of you like people just starting out it's good it's good to start with something uh pretty easy um, and as a capsule, would name that the pilot place. Pilot place. Cool. Um, it's not very uh, scientific or whatever. And I've got I've got the lingo <laughs> pilot place. Um, all right. Okay. So now you want to you want to copy these wings, or copy this one back, and move it all the way back to around 500 and then do the same for the right wing because this is where you want to go back into your top view line them up again oh and that's the phone I will be back in a second 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, where were we? Yeah. So you want to make these wings, wings, uh, back the back wings a lot smaller, obviously. Um, and I want to just be coming out the back, obviously, as well. Here, so just line that all up. And it'll probably be easy, actually, if it's just, you can delete that left one, and then just copy and paste this. Right. Um, so that's kind of at the same place. Right now, you want to do the the one coming up as well, which is just easily done. You just um, hold down shift, rotate it, and then just bring it back up to the center. You might want to make that one a bit taller as well, though. So drag it up a little bit. Maybe that's maybe that's just too tall a little bit. Um. No, nah, I think that'd be alright. Alright, okay, so... Next step. It's just looking kind of like a plane at the moment. Um, but how is a plane going to fly when it doesn't have any propellers? So what you want to do is... Wait, just label these. Uh, I won't, not for the tutorial sake. But um, you want to turn these all off by clicking on the first one and then just drag down. Turns them all off. Um, so you're not like having to move around the scene with um, trying to model your propellers add a capsule um, orientation to plus Z and then you want to change the rotation segments down a little bit because you don't need so many segments to maybe about yeah that should be alright 16 just so um, it's quicker to render if you put any uh, materials or uh, high render settings lighting whatever um, you want height down to height segments down to like 1 um and then you want to add a disc and inside the disc once you've rotated it to 90 degrees moved it up a little bit what you want to do is you want to have it about there and then you want to use this handy tool called a slice which instead of having to cut it all making the object editable and everything um you can just press the slice button which uh, you can change the from degrees button which um, makes it obviously slice it in different areas different uh, part of the disc and then you just increase the, increase the outer radius maybe that's a bit too thick so lower that uh, higher that number even and to about there and then you want to make another one copy and paste that and put it about there and put the other one up a little bit yeah maybe just rotate them for one forward a little bit about 15 degrees and the other one back about 15 degrees not too much just to add some di different um, depth to the scene because uh, they're a bit really thin at the moment and I don't know about you but um, I don't really know any things uh, propellers that are that thin so uh, you want to just um, control click on both of them then you want to press C on your keyboard, make some editable, and then you want to go down to click on this button here, uh, right click, extrude, makes it thicker, and then just literally extrude them a little bit so it's uh, like that instead of what we're trying to say. It's a lot. It looks a lot better pretty much anyway so uh, you want to copy and paste no not copy and paste control click on both of them uh, and dump them into the capsule making them the capsule apparent of the uh, not, uh, making that the propellers so that's our parented to them then you want to turn these all on by dragging clicking and dragging down there and then you want to move your propellers up here and just play around with it really and that kind of wraps up this tutorial because there's your plane maybe it's a bit big so you go to the scale tool or press um, I think it's S on your keyboard but, um, just click this button up here and uh, then just scale it down maybe a little bit and drag it out and then you go there's a uh, simple plane made in um, Cinema 4D uh, if you guys want any more modern modeling tutorials please either link me to uh, a picture or something of one and I'll try and uh, explain how to make it or anything but um, yeah as well guys uh, if you want uh, to me to supply you with a lot more like 
technical and better project files in the future um, and a lot more free giveaways and stuff like that um, all that good stuff then uh, feel free to donate to my PayPal uh, which is steam productions at live dot uk um that link will be in the description um I'd really appreciate that guys um and any every penny counts <laughs> so uh yeah guys this wraps uh this tutorial up the project file with the animation will be in the description enjoy um and post a few video responses um using it all right guys thank you steam it peace.